guys, and welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. As always, I'm DemonFry93, and it's been a while, so I figured why not try yet again for the High Priestess, hoping that we may have somehow found a sixth blessing card. I'm not sure if we have, but, you know, I figure why not try it, especially now that we have the new Malaclips. It's always good to try him out, so, um... Right. So we need to have the cards that do the blessings. We don't know what any of these new ones do. Oh, lovely when these are broken. I love, I love, the top row's now broken on this one. So, wait, what can I receive here? Add platinum gain and chance cards. Interesting, interesting. Gotta try and figure out what I need to put in. Need to put in some sort of blessing. Gain resources. That's not going to gain me any blessings. Equipment. That's not going to gain me any blessings. Uh, that's not going to. No. Certainly not. It's going to give me some bombs. Uh, probably not. Nope. Not likely. Okay. Uh huh. Sure. Gain any. We could gain a blessing on a gain any. Why don't we try that? Gain any. Can, can. Gain fame, chance card, spend gold, and curse. Do we even want curses? All right. Uh huh. Sure. Yep. Right. Nope. Gain any. Yet again. Huh. Gain fame. Watch how it reveals the map. Cartographer gains gold. Oh, we need to gain gold. That's right. Okay. Uh, burning building gain fame. We don't really need the burning building. We'll take the soothsayer instead Gain resources Gain any uh, yet again, and I remember that the winter solstice is to Trade a blessing which we do not want to do so I think we're gonna try with those and uh, Start with good fortune Sounds good all right, I think we're ready. So, let's begin. As with the other runs where we've done them a number of times, we don't have to sit through the story that much as we've played it a number of times. <laughs> we're just here for the gold token, which we need all six blessings to see the High Priestess. Uh, okay, I wonder if actually asking any of these would get me a blessing. I don't think that they would doesn't hurt to ask though I guess as you know I have a great many skills but my swordsmanship is unlikely to hold up against northern raiders I know no one else who is more up to the task uh, ask about the leader of the raiders there are many clans dotted around but the supposed leader of them all is the high priestess who lives up there Malcolm's points to the top of the soaring mountain before you and ask him more about his mission. General Brandstorm instructed me not to come back until I talked to the High Priestess of the North and offer the terms of the treaty, he explains. And so we'll just join him on the quest because... Holy shit, so much food! Okay, we're good on food. Blizzard, that's right. That's what these ones were. All blizzards. Right. It's been a while, but I'm still doing all right. Cartographer, return later. Temple prayers, make a donation, give me. All right, so I'm trying to remember back when I was playing this in the beta, if there was a specific one that you need to get. So let's just look through all these again, because it's been a while. Gambler's Banquet. Receive two food after every dice gambit. Doesn't really help me in gaining blessings. Gold Zealot. Recover 15 life for every gold gain card you receive. Still, probably not that much use in gaining blessings. 
Long life. If your max life is less than 150, you may discard food or equipment cards to receive 5 max life. Eh. Beggar's Charm. Game of 20 gold at the beginning of a new map, unless you have 20 gold. And Divine Providence adds plus 2 to your dice during the dice gambit, but we're... Oh, right. Okay, well, we're gonna go with Beggar's Charm. This is the one that I do remember getting. I believe that's the one I start with. Because that makes sure that we have 20 gold, which means we can always donate to the these guys. So, not this guy. I'll return later. Avalanche, again. I didn't even look what I have equipped, so who knows how I'm going to fight with these guys. Good, bad, ugly? Probably ugly. I'm a little rusty, of course. It's a rusted sword, looks like. Looks like indeed. But hey, I got an explosive shield, bitches. Come on. Hey, get off of Mal. Kaboom! Bad! Whoa! Get up, Mal! Come on, keep trying that asshole. You're dead. Good job, Mal, you killed that one! And I killed the rest. I literally killed everybody but one. You've improved now. Now I gain equipment. It is your choice. You can use the weapons oh. you have, or you can attempt to be uh, worthy of this one. Obviously, I'm gonna store that because there's nothing else I can do with it. So, don't know what the hell you're talking about. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to uh, be their master. Apparently not. It's been a while since I've done the bones. Just need a three. You son of a bitch! Why would you re-roll a one, you prick? I will retrieve the weapon. Winter's Bane! Sure. I'll take out Winter's Bane. And is this our ascension? It is. We're gonna turn back. Go to this last card here, which is another blizzard. Can I just turn back now? Not have to worry about it. Struggle to find cover. Nope. Okay. Got it. Let's get... Okay. Got it. Uh -huh. Trade or review your mission. Right. I'm going to... Hello, cartographer. Give me eight gold. Thank you. And then we will head on to the next level. Of which there is the old hag. Yes, and she will give us something good. Allies, return! Revive your companion at the beginning of every, each new map. Awesome. Do you have a second brew that I could... Oh, temple prayers! Pay six gold. Okay, so now we have the Gambler's Banquet, adding two to our roll. The Gold Zealot, when we get gold, we gain health. Monk's Vitality, we can get rid of equipment or food for max health. And Deft Eye, which is reduce the speed of the wheel gambit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say Gambler's Banquet. Oh, never mind. Plus two food, and it's not plus two to the roll. So we're gonna go with Deft Eye. Which actually is going to screw me over, because I'm used to how fast the wheel spins on those wheel spins, so, you know. Oh my god, another temple prayers! Make another donation! Give me... I don't even know. Uh, 15 life. Two food for every dice gambit. That'll keep me from starving, I guess. Alright. We're doing alright. We get one more from uh, the next level, lady. Hopefully. I pray to God that we do. Anyways. And then there's somewhere else that we need to find one. Oh, huge failure. As long as it's not lose a blessing. That would suck. This sucks too, though. Shit. 
shit. What if there's more temple prayer cards added? Like, how do how, how do they decide how many temple prayer cards get added into this deck? What are you talking about? I'm more than happy to be here, Mal. Whoa! That was not fair. There were two of you. I could not do that. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. No. Bad bolas. Bad bola boy. Take this. And he's dead. Nope. 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 Hey, Mal, how you doing? Over there. Okay. Thank you for making me so slow. Damn it, somebody thinks happening. Okay, I'm gonna need to stop to heal soon. At the next convenience, I'm gonna need to go to a camp. Could you fuck off? Go ahead. Ah, oh, the guy fell off the cliff almost. He's slipping, he's slipping. Oh, damn it. I could see him sliding in the background. So we're about to die. That's great. Yep. Gonna gonna camp. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Trade. Buy equipment. Ring of food. Any non-food card to gain plus two food. Any number of rings can be equipped. No thanks. Sell equipment. I've got Winter's Bane and Armor of Gluttony. Can't wear the armor yet. I don't care. Uh, finish trading, I guess. But we'll cook food. Cook food. Cook food. Okay. Uh, let's get down to ten. Ten food. There we go. Actually, let's go back and trade. Buy, buy the last of your food stocks. Sounds good. Finish trading. And break camp. The no much exchange. Has busily purged so many of the fantastic creatures from these lands. Ah, uh, you gotta give him an eclectic sword, because that'll be what's equipped. How it vile humans, a voice calls out as a dozen creatures leap from the trees around you. It takes a moment to realize they are gnomes, dirty, poorly armed gnomes. A few hold spears, but most have only a rock or a sharpened stick. We seek arms to defend ourselves, the gnome declares loudly. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. We can even pay you something. I'll give you some food for a helmet, one of the small folk exclaims. No, give me some armor and I'll give you a health potion, chimes in another. Sure, I'll give him something. Here you go. Yep. Surrender the equipment to the gnomes, satisfied. They offer payment in return. That's not a health potion. I mean, that's a health potion. I, okay, yeah, I get it. It's a health potion, but it's not a health potion, health potion. I was thinking of the health potion that th I was using in the last levels that I was playing. You know? The health tonic that you drink from with the left bumper, the artifact. Damn it. Not some... Just, just heal me to full. That's just useless. And ascend. Okay. Now comes the problem. We are going to run up to this lady and she is going to have uh, not a lot of blessings, but a big pain. Right. Yep. Okay, guardian angel, guardian angel. Oh, fuck my life. Hey, divine intervention! Oh, after all your rerolls in a dice game, it reroll your lowest die. Thank God. I've got five. Can you give me another one? No? You're just that much of a bitch, huh? At Lost boy. Does a child lose their innocence? Please give when me. When do they become the enemy? Please give me a blessing. He's just a small child, you over here. A deeper voice growls. We have to take him to the dungeons, or else he'll start, he'll run straight to whatever northern clan he's spawned from and show them where our outpost is. That's a shifty-looking kid. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, says Malaclips. You consider the boy's fate. Well, I guess that my only option is to save the boy. Unsheathing your weapon, you demand they let the boy go. Ah, oh, great. How in the world are members of the Empire steel cards and everything? How are they 
fucking deciding to kill a boy. That's just... Or to imprison a boy. That's just evil. I mean, they don't know that he's a northerner necessarily. He's... You know, he's, he's a... He's a... He's a... Homeless child! Take that. And that. And that. Sorry, am I screwing you over? Did you die because of me? Oh, quit your blocking. And die. Ow! You stabbed me. Well, come on, I hit B. Hey, Mal, are you just gonna stand there shooting magic missiles at these guys? Or are you gonna take out the guy that, you know, shooting a gun at me? That'd be rather helpful. Wah! Wasn't paying attention to you. Stop stabbing me with that fucking thing! I hate you. Thank you for dying. Come here. Come hit me. I dare you. Hit me. Thank you. And you're dead. Lost a little bit more health than I would have liked, but... <clears throat> I'm actually not that rusty. I mean, because I was just playing the... <gasps> shouldn't say it. Endless mode. <laughs> But, that's all you'll hear about it from me. You won't hear anything about it. What the fuck? The hell just happened? Reroll? I'm very confused as to what just happened. Yes, I would like to reroll that again. Don't get a fuck. You're a piece of shit, okay, game? Stop rolling a fucking one over and over and over. Go to hell. The boy disappears into the forest, and soon you hear him howl from a short distance. The raiders come out of hiding, and the boy shouts, Their outpost is that way. Okay. It's really hoping that I was gonna fucking get that, but the game just decided, Fuck you, you're gonna roll three ones in a row. Cause that's fucking something. Never go to Vegas. I've now learned I should never go to Vegas. Three fucking ones. No. Having fun, are ya? Whoa. Forgot that you hit multiple times, you asshole. What the hell? I hit left trigger, jackass. Use your damn attack! You stupid son of a bitch! Come on! What's the matter? Too much for you? I hit the button, you asshole! Stop not reacting when I hit the fucking button to do things! Damn game! My reactions are not that slow. The game's input is. Fucking jackass lost boy. Sure. And... Yes. Sure. Avalanche! Fucking crap! Ah, I hate! Hate the damn avalanche cards. Pain in the ass. You need to stop that now. You're done. No, no, 
No. Good job. Yeah, propped my explosive. Explosive. Blah. Blah. I hit Y, you jackass. Good job, Mal. You got the kill. Many more avalanches and I'm gonna be dead. Sure, I'll gain the equipment. Oh. Sure. Every encounter with a gambit reveal one random encounter card on this level. Shh. Why not? No, I'll take that because I'm low on health. Thank you very much. Oh, and here comes five ones magically. Why do you keep doing that? Oh, that's why, because that's part of the thing, is that I gain food for it. Stop rolling these as ones, you fucking piece of garbage. Thank you. A I'm, win here sets the tone for your challenge. I'm not appreciative of the trash. Would you like to equip the warrior's axe? No. I'm dealing with northern raiders. All right, well, there's the watchtower. So I guess... Uh, we don't, we're gonna turn back. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We're just gonna turn back. Another fucking blizzard, of course. Struggle to find cover. And we are successful. I need to find something where I can, like... Oh look, soothsayer. Great. You know, I can, um... What is it? I'm trying to think here. Um... I need to be able to go... Something like Hand, Hand of Faith... Hand of Faith 1's uh, Field of Poppies. Where the entire map is reset. The level. Because that would be great. That would be fantastic. I would appreciate that greatly. It would mean that I could go back... Well, I can't because this level doesn't have one, but on the previous level, I could have gone back to the, uh... Um... Whatchamacallit? The... Prayers. And get another... Blessing. On the edge of the Empire, far from the capital, sits a lonely watchtower. You approach with caution, knowing that few travelers are allowed near. Right. Offer them gold. Give them some gold. And look to the east and west. Turn your gaze north and south. And I get absolutely no cards. So. Once I view really just reveals it. Teller with contempt. Since my recovery, sure. I have needed to pose as one at times. In order to make a living. Okay, so now I'm gonna that wow. I understand them far better, I loathe them even more. So I'm gonna lose seven food, that's fucking great. Then gain five food. Then gain some gold. Then gain some gold food. Then lose some gold. Then permanent injury lose ten max life. Hmm. I guess we'll go on the quest. Alright, next day you stride into the forest intent on hunting down the brigands that have been harrying the town. Your quest gets off to a bad start. Slip on a narrow bridge, catch yourself before plunging into the ravine, but some of your supplies slip from your pockets. Lose seven food. You delay your quest long enough to help some farmers push their wagon up a hill. Their beasts of burden having been carried away by a huge eagle. They offer supplies in return. Five food. A peasant has heard of your request and offers you payment to protect her family from the brigands. Ten gold. Uh, sure, we'll discard that for food. You come across a dead adventurer by the side of the road. There is no sign of what caused her passing, but she won't mind you putting her remaining supplies to good use. Seven food. You are confronted by a feline creature whose fine boots distract you from the fact that he is robbing you at sword point. Am I getting robbed by Puss in Boots? 
With a wave of his feathered hat, he departs with your... He, he, I got robbed by Puss in Boots, motherfucker. Chance encounter with an amphisbana. Sure. Leaves you with poison in your veins. Lovely. You discover that the brigands, having learned of your quest, left the valley to find easier pickings elsewhere. The mayor refuses to pay for your time. And therefore, fuck this level. We're just done. There, we lose. We did not successfully gain our gold token. So, thanks. Thanks, game. Thanks for the, thanks for the fun game. Thanks for the fun level. That was fun. Just, just, that was great. That was fucking great. So, fuck that level yet again for the time being until we are guaranteed a sixth fucking blessing. Because apparently we can't ever just get lucky enough to run into a sixth blessing. We need to have a card that will guarantee us a blessing and force it into the deck. So, we're going to move on. But that will have to wait until next time. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to keep up to date with all of my videos, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook to become part of the conversation, also part of the voting for games I should play in the future. And as always, I'm DemonFire93, and I'll see you guys next time.